Welcome to Newsbreak, the show covering everything happening around Charles County Public Schools. I'm Stephanie Patterson. Charles County Public Schools welcomed a new Board of Education during the month of December. Five new board members, along with two incumbents, officially took office as members of the Charles County Board of Education on December 15th. A swearing-in ceremony was held at St. Charles High School in the afternoon. Mark Crawford, Victoria Kelly, Margaret Marshall, Virginia McGraw, and Barbara Palco were sworn in along with returning board members Jennifer Abel and Michael Lucas. Each member has specific ties to the school system. Mrs. Marshall, Mrs. McGraw, and Mrs. Palco are retired teachers who worked in Charles County Public Schools. Mrs. Kelly served as the Parent Teacher Organization President at Mary H. Matula Elementary School and was a semi-finalist for the Maryland Parent Involvement Matters Award. Mr. Crawford served a four-year term in the Board of Education from 2002 to 2006. Ms. Abel is serving her third consecutive term while Mr. Lucas is serving his second term. Members will hold their first board meeting together on January 13th. This is the 16th Charles County Board of Education. A few days before the 16th Board of Education was sworn in, the previous Board of Education held their last meeting together on December 9th. Patricia Bowie, Mara Cook, Pamela Peterson, and Roberta S. Wise were presented with plaques for their service to the students and staff of Charles County Public Schools. Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Kimberly Hill, made another presentation as she named Mrs. Wise the first recipient of the James E. Richmond Leadership Award. Newsbreak would like to take this time to thank the outgoing board members for their years of service and welcome the new board as well. From December 8th to 12th, you may have noticed a lot of Charles County Public School students on the computer in a variety of classes. The reason is because the school system was participating in a global event called the Hour of Code. Students, staff, and even parents spent at least one hour during the week learning the basics of coding and computer science courtesy of code.org. Each school participated in the event in their own unique way. These seniors at Westlake High School spent their class time trying different programs at code.org slash learn in the school's gateway to technology classroom. However, these students are doing their hour of code in their second period English 4 class. On December 11th, Mary H. Matula Elementary School held their hour of code event in the evening so students and their parents could learn about coding together. Students at William A. Diggs Elementary School were working diligently on this Wednesday afternoon and were assisted by members of North Point High School's technology team. The purpose of the Hour of Code initiative is to show people that anyone can learn how to program a computer. Many of the participants in the Hour of Code enjoyed the opportunity and are excited that the school system is integrating computer science into curriculum for all students. Because it makes me feel like I'm doing something, something that it's something I like to do and something that I'm really good at doing, so it makes me feel better. For me, a lot of these subjects are easy, so computer science for me actually lets me use my full mental ability, so it's a fun time for me. Computer science is a, an untouched subject, and I think it's a very important subject considering that the world is turning into a technological-based world. So I think that this is very important for students to know about and just learn. Technology is our future, our kids are our future, and with both of them together combined, it's going to help my son grow. I think this is really, really, really good. Code.org, a partner of Charles County Public Schools, sponsored the Hour of Code. The five-day event was supported by several companies, including Microsoft, Facebook, Google, and Apple. From one piece of student work to another, take a look at this wall at General Smallwood Middle School. This heart is made up of hands representing the school's pledge to create a bully-free zone. Each student traced their hand on a piece of paper then cut it out. They signed their name and some wrote a special message. Each hand was placed in the shape of the heart with the caption saying, Our hands are only for helping, never for hurting. This display was placed up in October during the promotion of Anti-Bullying Month. Students and staff are keeping the display up indefinitely because everyone sees it as a great source of pride. This shows that everyone is against bullying, that we have, we're not going to put our hands on anyone, that we're ag against bullying and we'll stand up to them. I think that display really means that we're a safe environment, we're a bully-free zone, and that if anybody is ever bullied, that everyone is here for them and we will help them. The display is located near the side door entrance to the cafeteria and in front of Smallwood's main corridor. If you happen to be in the school, we suggest you check it out. It's time for News to Know, a segment that gives you the dates, times, places, and events that you need to know. That is why we call it News to Know. 
Schools will dismiss two hours early on January 15th. Schools and offices will be closed on January 19th in observance of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Schools will be closed for students on January 26th. Here are some future dates for the SAT and ACT. Students can take the SAT on January 24th and the ACT on February 7th. Students can find information on how to register for either test at their school's counseling office. Just a reminder, you can catch our show on three outlets, Comcast Channel 96, Verizon Fios Channel 12, and on the video section of our website, ccboe.com slash ccpstv. The site has old episodes of Newsbreak, special programs like It's Academic or Board Meetings. You can watch the swearing in ceremony of Charles County Public Schools 16th Board of Education. Any video can be watched from your tablet, smartphone, or computer, or you can view it on our new app, CCPS On The Go. Check it out today. That will do it for this edition of Newsbreak. I'm Stephanie Patterson. Thanks for watching. Bye.